Hey guys and welcome back. I got so many questions on how to do comparative analysis. Uh, so I thought I would just make a video out of it. So the question that I keep getting is what if you want to compare two different charts that is make selections so that you can maybe compare two products, two countries, sales of two regions, whatever, right? What if you want to do like a side by side comparison? Well, that's what uh, alternate states does. In my state one, I select Australia. So you see that in this chart, I have Australia. And over here, I select, let's say Canada. Now I can do side by side comparison for the sales of Australia versus Canada. So this is what we're going to do. Let's start from scratch as always. First things first, let's go to master items here. Let's go to alternate states, create new, and you're going to give your state a name. So I'm going to say state one, and then I'm going to stay state two. Good. Now we've created the two states. Next, let's put in two charts. That is one bar chart here, one bar chart here, and let's put in one more where we're going to have both of them together. Good. Let's also pull into filters. So I put in a filter here. Now we need to apply the states for these particular graphs that we have created, right? So I'm going to select this and here I'm going to say the dimension I want is country. Here again, I'm going to say dimension is country. What happens now? Well, if you select something, you see that the same selections is done here as well, because this is just a regular filter, right? You haven't done anything special here. Good. Let's now going to this appearance. You have alternate states and here you can change the different states. And I'm going to say state one here. Good. And this one, I want it to be state two. So here I'm going to say state two. So essentially the two states that you created, you're applying it over here, which says that, hey, this is not a default filter. Instead, whatever selection is made here actually applies only to those graphs which are connected to state two. This one is only connected to state one, right? So let's do the same thing here. Country, and uh, let's add a measure that is sum of sales amount, right? Repeat it here. Now, when I make a selection here, you see that it nothing changes here, neither in this graph, right? Why is that? Well, it's because these two are making selections in the different states, but these two are not connected to the states. So we got to fix that issue. Let's do that. Let's go here. Let's go back to my sales. And here I'm going to say this one should only be for my state one. So essentially, I'm saying that sum of sales for whatever is in my state one selections. And now when I make a selection here, you see that that has been applied here. Now there's an easier way to do it. That is, if it's a, if it's a super simple measure, what you could do is exactly the same what you did for the filters, right? So you could go into appearance and here you could say the state. I could give it here as state one and it would work the same. So over here, let's add state two. So I'm going to go here. Um, I'm going to say state two and it will work, right? But another way to do it is to go into your measure and just like a set expression, you're, you're just saying state two, you're mentioning it in your measure that this has to be applied. That is the state has to be applied. Now, because there's a space here, you know, click how cumbersome it can be sometimes, right? So now I've set state two, apply, voila, done. Now I can do the exact same thing in one single graph. That is, I could go here, I could just say your month and country, and then the bars add one, that is the sum of sales. Let's copy it, done. Colors. So now we know what state one is and what state two is, right? So what happens now? Well, now no states are applied. So all countries have been selected. I make two selections in my state one and you see that this is unaffected in the other graph, right? Because this is state two and I make two different selections in my state two and I get the graph here for the selections that I made here. Now, 
you could make this a little bit better. That is over here for the title, you want to know what the selections are, right? So what we could do here is we could say general title and here what you could say sales and then you could say get current selections and what are the current selections that you want you want the selections for state one right so you can look up the syntax for current selections but over here what we're going to say is we want a new line which is character 13 and character 10 this gives you a new line then you want this is the separator for your records and then you have a separator for your field values comma because if multiple countries are selected then you want a comma then we could say nine and then the state one if i click on apply here i get the name australia and germany that's good what i want is i want to copy this again and I want to go here and I want to do the same thing. But then in this case, I want it to be for state two. So now it makes it a little bit easier because if I cancel this and I go here and I create, select these three, I see the names here, right? Um, and let me make some selections here as well. Good. So now you see the names and it becomes much more clear. So I have all of these cheat codes in our click front end cheat code. Check it out. Super simple. You can just copy, paste, and you have your alternate states there. People have been absolutely loving it. Check it out and um, check out all the links in the description below. Super appreciate it if you leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.